All right, everyone, I am in rural Mississippi. I'll show you real quick on the map. See the blue dot? Uh, I'm in the middle of the state, uh, near the eastern border with Alabama. You can see Birmingham over there to the east. Meridian to the south. Uh, Tupelo right up there at the top. I'm going to explore some towns here. I'm just going to kind of cruise down the state line just to the west of it. I'm, and I'm talking about the state line with Alabama. Check out some towns here uh, that are nowhere near the interstate. Interesting towns. This is the town of Brooksville. That's where we're going to start. I'll start with the per capita income. Uh, $16,000 a year. That's $308 a week. I don't know if you can see these roads, but they are really bad. You have to drive very slowly. Anyway, the town has about 900 people in it. That's down from a peak in 2010. There were a little over 1,200. Poverty is very high. Very high in this town. 42.6%. For children, it's worse. 17 and under. 55 percent and uh, 65 and older it's 14 percent I'm approaching downtown now um, it's pretty bad shape I read on the uh, a local newspaper though that they are going to start working on it trying to improve it so that's always good to hear The uh, primary industry here was a place called Picos Foods. I had to look it up. It's a chicken processing plant, but apparently it closed here. So that, that had to hurt. Of course, they moved it up to a place close by, I think. So I guess the people could just drive to another town nearby. Let's see, I'm just gonna give you a look at the downtown. You can see, uh, yeah, a lot of um, decay. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn around and go back into downtown. Okay, I'm making another drive into downtown. Another street over. Now, people have been asking me to do the uh, numbers on race. So I guess I'll start doing that beginning this video. 75 0.6% of the town is black, 20.3% is white, 1.5% is Hispanic, and the rest is just other. So there's that. That's yeah, taking another look into downtown. Quite a few police cars here. Um, in fact, this is the police station right here. Brooksville Police Department. Today is um, Friday and it's about 10 in the morning. Um, nothing or nothing really happening in this downtown as you can see. Uh, it is uh, it's basically abandoned. Now, even though poverty is high, crime here is low, or relatively low, which surprised me because usually crime or uh, low incomes and poverty and crime go hand in hand, uh, but not this town. Violent crime is 3.8 per 1,000. That's exactly the U.S. average. So uh, that's not bad. I've seen quite a few dogs just running around loose here in town. A stat that kind of stuck out for me though is 5% of the men in the town are widowers. This may surprise you, but it's usually a lot lower, uh, that number. 6% of the women are widows. Uh, cost of living in this town is 20% lower than the U.S. average. That's driven 
strongly by uh, the cost of housing. Housing is 55% lower than the US average in this town. Uh, the town's motto is a great place to call home. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna look around a little bit now, see what we can find here. I saw this church. You can see it from the distance. It is uh, not an operation though. It's boarded up. That's pretty unusual. You rarely see abandoned churches. Just going to show you some of the neighborhood now. Some of the things here in town. See what else I can find. Now look at this church. Way of the Cross Chapel. Everyone welcome. Uh, that is really unusual architecture, especially for a small town. It is beautiful. I really love this uh, building. Wow. Um, a lot of abandoned houses here. I see quite a few. I guess because of the, uh, well, obviously because of the population loss. Um, give you an idea where I'm at. There's downtown right there. So I'm going to head up in there again. There's the cat. Always good to find the cat early in the video. He's just hanging out like he owns the place. <laughs> I'm on one of the uh, residential streets. This is pretty much what they look like. Most of them are just gravel. Let's see, I might be heading to a dead end, so I better turn around. Yeah, I gotta tell you guys, these roads are just barely here in this town. I'm glad I've got four wheel drive right now. <laughs> Subscribers have been asking me to show grocery stores in these small little towns, so, uh, there you go, Brooksville Market. I think there's another one here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I'm back in a downtown now. Let me give you another quick look at this. Uh, yeah, these buildings, they're just um, falling apart. Maybe they can get something done with that. Let's see, I think there's another small grocery style store here. Yeah, here it is. So that's two stores where you can buy some groceries, it looks like, in this town. All right, I think I've seen enough here. I'm going to uh, head to the next town. Okay, I've just arrived at the town of Macon. Um, very poor town. I'll give you the population first though. Just over 2,500 people. A little bit bigger town. Per capita income is 14,800. That's uh, $285 a week. It's one of the lowest income towns I've ever been to. And in fact, this town uh, in terms of cities between 1,000 and 25,000 is regularly uh, ranks in the top 10 in the country uh, as one of the poorest towns. In 2016 this was the poorest town in the United States. Pretty sure it's still in the top uh, 20 now though. High, high poverty. 44.6 percent 
That's almost half the people. For children, it's worse. Children 17 and under. The poverty rate in this town is 72%. That might be the highest number I've ever seen. Older folks, a little better. 65 and older, 15%. 39% of the town is married. That's a pretty low number. 11% of the women who live in this town are widows. All right, so I'm gonna uh, turn around and go back into downtown and give you another look. The breakdown in race, 80% or 86% black, 13% white, 1% Hispanic. Uh, the rest is other. Surprisingly, like the last time, uh, last town, violent crime is very low, even lower here. 1.6 per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 3.8. So again, another town where high poverty is not equaling a lot of violent crime. Property crime is a little high. Oh, actually, property crime, I'm looking at the number. That's low, too. 12 per 1,000. U.S. average is 20 per 1,000. So this is a low-crime town. Very high in poverty, but uh, crime is low. Almost doesn't make sense, does it? Cost of living here is 22% lower than the uh, rest of the U.S. Housing is 61% lower. I want to give you... Good look at this uh, Capitol building, or I'm sorry, courthouse, county courthouse. It looks like a Capitol building, so grand in appearance. So that's downtown again. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, look around a little bit. The median home value in this town is 84,400. So again, very low home values. I'm going to show you a residential street or two right now. Um, I'm just one street off downtown. It's right there. What else about the town? 73% graduated high school. A little lower than the U.S. average, which is 85. 11% of the women who live here are widows. So that's pretty high. Well, not really seeing the lower home values here. <laughs> not in this part of town. These are really nice here. Uh, that is Main Street, so very close to downtown. Another quick shot of the county courthouse. Across the street from it is the county library. Uh, this was built in 1907. Uh, it's on the National Register. And deservedly so. That's a magnificent building. It used to be the jail. But now it's the library. And there's another shot of downtown. Anyway, I've had people ask me for gas prices. Uh, if you can see that, three nineteen, three nineteen for a, a gallon of regular gas here in uh, East Central Mississippi. All right, so uh, there's the grocery store. Looks like for the town, Tim's Food Market. And uh, there is a Dollar General as well. Those are in every town, though. Yeah, there's some place to shop there as well. Rock and Burgers. I guess out of that 
kind of purplish building, huh? I don't think they're cooking anything out of this building. Uh -huh. Interesting looking mural there. Anyway, it looks like um, I've hit a dead end. I guess I better turn around. I got a bunch of, st bunch of stuff up there. Road closed. Dead end. I uh, I think I'm done here. Just want to give you a look at a couple of houses here on this street, which are quite frankly magnificent. I've got one here that's could use some TLC for sure. But across the way, look at that. Yeah, that is a mansion. All right, everyone, I am entering the town of Sugarlock. Now you see the spelling down there. Looks like it should be spelled Sugarlock, but I'm told there is an R in the pronunciation. Sugarlock. Anyway, the town has about 350 people in it. The per capita income is 18,800. That's 362 dollars a week. By the way, uh, I'll give you the national numbers. Uh, the per capita income for the U.S. as a whole is 37,600 or 723 weeks. So you can use it as comparison. Anyway, you're looking at the primary employer in this town, the Sugarlock Lumber Company. Yeah, because they've got a train loaded with lumber right now. Um, well, let me turn around and go back into downtown. Not much going on here, is there? Got another street. There's a, there's some cars parked here though. So I don't know what they're here for. Maybe they park here to work at that lumber yard. I don't I don't see any open businesses here. There's the post office. Uh yeah, across the street it's just kind of falling apart. Now there's town hall right there. And other than that, there's just not much here. Just the uh, building's falling apart. And you can see the street, it's not in that great a condition either. Anyway, let's see more about the town. Uh, it's 56% male, 44% female. So the ladies here got a few options compared to the men let's see I'm going to drive into residential and as I do I'll tell you the median home value 41,400 um, I think that's the lowest median home value I've ever seen in any town a little over $41,000 I mean it's hard to get a new car for that price now Cost of living is real low though here. 25% lower than the average in the US. Housing is 71% lower. So that surprises no one I'm thinking. Let's see, I'm gonna look around here a bit. See what else I can find. This is a pretty typical street here though. That's uh, not bad. Homes look pretty nice, actually. See, I didn't give you poverty level yet. 32.9%, uh, so really high poverty. Uh, let's see, we got it. It's like a uh, empty house here. Getting swallowed up by nature. Um. For 
children 17 and under, poverty is 40%. So close to half the kids here live at or below poverty. Like the other towns I've been to, violent crime is not bad. A little bit higher here, 4.2 per 1,000 people. So that's a shade higher than the U.S. average. Oh, we've got a house in really bad shape here. Yep, nature's taking that one. Only a matter of time. Uh, here's the racial breakdown. 84.7% black, 10% white, 1.2% Hispanic, and then the uh, last few percent is other. There's a cafe. I don't think that's open though. Like there was a house there and it's long gone hey right, let me uh, see if I can find some sort of uh, grocery store because the people want to see it that's what they tell me in the comments as far as stores to get your groceries can't really find anything except for this Dollar General I think this is it. And there it is right there. And then I, I've seen one gas station also. So uh, there's that. Well, okay, I've uh, ended up back in downtown. So here's another look at it. Uh, I'm going to make my way to one more town, one more town in the video. Yeah, so I'm gonna head there right now. All right, I'm entering the town of Scuba. Scuba, Mississippi. A little over 700 people here. The downtown is, uh, as you can see, in uh, really bad shape. Now the numbers for this town are dismal, but I think it's because of the community college here. East Mississippi Community College. Uh, it's got a couple of satellite campuses so I had a hard time getting the actual enrollment, but I think it's around 3,000 here in town, which makes it much bigger than the town's population. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but here are the town's numbers. Median age is 20, 20 years old. So obviously the college is counted there. Capita income, $10,767 a year. That's $207 a week. Uh, 12% of the town is married. A surprising number here, 63% of the town graduated high school. Kind of surprised this being a Technically a college town, I guess. Median home value here is 60000 A little bit higher. Now, poverty. Again, this must be the uh, college students factoring in. 57%. It's one of the highest I've ever seen. Children 17 and under, 81%. 81% of the children who live here are at or below the poverty line. That's astonishing. I'm not sure why that number is so high. Folks 65 and over, it's 26%. Yeah, 
Anyway, I'm just kind of driving through the town. Give you a look as I tell you the numbers. Uh, here's the numbers on race. 72.4% of the town is black. 25% is white. 1% Native American. 1% Hispanic. And the rest is just other. Now, like these other towns, violent crime is actually pretty low. 4.3 per 1,000 people. That's not bad. That's just a little bit higher than the U.S. average. Cost of living, very low. 24% lower than the U.S. average. Uh, I think I'm at this uh, community college right now. Let me see. Uh, sure looks like one, doesn't it? Looks like I've driven right up onto it or into it. Yeah. These look like college buildings, don't they? Uh, let's see. I think I'll be driving into it right here. Yeah. Uh, here, let me turn around. Okay, yeah. So here we are. East Mississippi Community College. So yeah, this is the campus. This is among the top 20 community colleges in the United States. It's currently ranked 12th. Additionally, it is a football power. Uh, this college has won five national titles in football over the past 10 years. Uh, the NGCAA college football title. That's uh, National Junior College Athletic Association. So, in terms of community colleges, it's prestigious and uh, an athletic powerhouse because it's done real well in women's sports and basketball also. So pretty impressive. I was uh, surprised to hear uh, read those numbers. And you can see the campus it looks pretty nice. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let me ch check out a residential area or two. Anyway, there's not a lot to see here once you get off that campus. I would guess it's easily the top employer. Let me see if I can find a, uh, some kind of store to show you guys. An abandoned house there. It's fairly modern too. I'm wondering if that was a church at one time. Oh boy, these bumps. Hmm. It's a pretty house here though. I like that green roof. And I'm trying to find some kind of grocery store. Well, I saw a cat cross the road. Now I can't see it. He's hiding somewhere. Well, I've looked around everywhere, and uh, Dollar General, that's it. Uh, that is the only place I can see where people uh, get groceries here. All right. Well, let's see, there's an abandoned gas station here. Looks like it was pretty modern at one time. I don't know how well you can see because of the sun. Uh, let's see what the gas prices were. When they shut her down, 285. Interesting. All right, everybody, so that's going to be the uh, end of this video. We're heading back west, as you can probably tell. We're in Mississippi now. Uh, we've got to stop in Dallas, check our mail, that kind of thing, get a haircut, and then uh, we'll be heading way out west. We're going to try to make it all the way to the Pacific Ocean. So, uh, be looking for those. They're coming up next.